friends good evening uh, now let's have the third session on this time and distance so far we had two sessions you must have watched those videos also if anybody wants to watch the basics of time and distance of course you can go for those two videos where i have discussed very clearly right from the beginning what is the average speed what is the relative speed and the relationship among distance speed and time now in this video just see the question on the screen this is one of the very very important questions for you to go for the further level in time and distance now you see how they have asked the question read the question properly and uh, try to understand that one first one person they have given kiran started from his home to his uncle's place and has calculated to reach there at uh, 1 pm if he travels at uh, 10 kilometers per hour all right then he will reach at 11 am only 2 hours before that one if he travels at 15 kilometers per hour now the question is at what speed must he travel to reach his uncle's place uh, at a uh, 12 noon now you make the question into two parts one is information other one is question now i'm going directly to the question part here here at what speed must he travel to reach there at a uh, 12 noon is the question now here basically i need to find out uh, what is the speed observe this one right first estimate in this way i need to find out the speed speed is equal to of course distance by time now here to answer this question i need to find out this one first i need to find out what is the distance and what is the time taken to cover the distance automatically you can get the speed here all right now what is the information they have given they have given the information a little typically here first he estimated to reach there at 1 pm if he travels at 10 kilometers per hour if he travels at 10 kilometers per hour he can reach the place at 1 pm all right now if he increases the speed and goes at 15 kilometers per hour of course he can reach that one 2 hours earlier that is 11 am only this is the thing they have given all right now finally of course the question at what speed he must travel to reach the place at 12 noon is the question all right now first of all as we have just discussed find out the distance here observe in this question in all the three cases of course all the three cases two things are very very important one is a distance is same distance here distance here and of course distance here all the three distance are same that is the first point and the second one is a starting time also same starting time here starting time here and starting time here all the cases starting time is same now first of all try to find out the distance since the distance is same in all the three cases i need the distance at uh, this place all right so now to find out the distance uh, easily you can find out uh, by combining these two i can find out the distance already we had a shortcut for this one in the previous video right he's go uh, like if he goes at 10 kilometers per hour 1 pm he can reach there 15 kilometers per hour 11 am only so here there is a difference in the timing here the difference in timing is 2 uh, hours here right so we can solve this question with the shortcut or the conventional way the conventional way is of course time one of course suppose if this is time one right 10 kilometers per hour the less speed it will take more time time one minus time two will give me the difference of the time that is 2 hours easily i can find out what is the distance here time is nothing but if i take distance as x now x by 10 all right minus x by 15 is equal to 2 there right by solving this one of course i can get the answer here so x is equal to 60 just solve the equation you will get x is equal to 60 and you can solve this question in the other way also we have discussed in the previous video what is that one directly you can find out this one by taking the difference of the time right difference of the time 2 hours into speed 1 speed 1 is of course 10 into speed 2 15 then divided by difference in speeds difference in speed 15 minus 10 that is 5 simplify this one anyway we are going to get a 60 got it right now the question is uh anyway i got the distance here the distance is a uh, 60 now only one thing i need to find out what is the time taken for this one observe friends here time taken means nothing time taken is nothing but uh, 
duration of the journey this is the duration of the journey of course they have given the ending time should be 12 noon ending time is 12 noon the ending time is 12 noon but to find out the duration for this journey we should have the starting time since i have explained you in all the three cases starting time is same now when i got the distance as 60 kilometers and uh, he started at one time here some time right uh, then uh, traveled at the rate of 10 kilometers per hour he reached the place at 1 pm it's not very difficult to us uh, very difficult for us to find out the starting time because easily i can find out the duration of the journey either you can find out the duration of the journey here or here that is up to us right anyone you take here suppose i am taking the second statement now he went with 50 km 15 kilometers per hour and uh, traveled for 60 kilometers how much time it has taken for him the duration distance uh, 60 by the duration uh, to find out the duration the speed i am taking the second statement that is 15 so 15 for the 60 he took 4 uh, hours for the journey right even you can find out from this one also all right suppose if you go with this one 10 60 by 10 that is 6 hours anyway now this is 4 hours he took that means he reached at 11 am after traveling for 4 hours means he had started at 7 am only that 7 am i found out by deducting 12 by deducting 4 from 12 there 12 minus 4 that is 7 so he started at 7 am here also 7 am of course here also 7 am calculate that one and here also 7 a now the question here now the starting time is 7 am and ending time should be 12 now so he has to travel for he has to travel for 5 hours that is 12 minus 7 he has to travel for 5 hours this 5 hours nothing but the time to be taken to travel uh, with some speed of course i need to find out the speed now the question is what should be the speed speed is equal to distance by time of course the distance is a uh, 60 and uh, here the duration is a uh, 5 hours 5 hours it should be 12 here so my answer is going to be 12 kilometers per hour is going to be the right answer hope you understood this question it's a beautiful question you see all right to find out this question you should have basic level understanding of the chapter first of all all right i just repeat this one nothing is there he estimated to travel like uh, means he estimated to reach there at 1 pm if he travels at the rate of 10 kilometers per hour then 15 kilometers per hour 11 am at what speed should he go to reach the place is 12 noon i need to find out the speed to find out the speed distance and time i successfully found out the distance with the help of these two statements that is to be 60 i have taken that 60 here you see all right now what is the time taken for that one the duration i found out the starting time here of course all the three cases starting time is same 7 am and 12 now my answer is going to be 60 by 5 12 kilometers per hour so he has to travel at 12 kilometers per hour to reach the place at 12 noon here this is how we need to go for this one all right now let's move on to the second